Hello, Fix It Tony here. Uh, today I am going to um, show you how you can replace and repair your multimeter. Um, so, in a prior video, I was doing my battery health assessment and I accidentally shorted out my multimeter and blew the fuse. So, it no longer took safe uh, amp readings. So uh, I, I, was, um, I was hoping that it was just a fuse issue. Uh, so to take apart your multimeter, because the, fuse the fuses are replaceable in a good multimeter and it's uh, in, contained inside the case. So basically you're going to unscrew the screws, all the screws on the back, and you're going to carefully um, open it up. Now be mindful that one end will open up better than the other. Um, I imagine that these things have sort of clips, and so mine did. It has these sort of uh, hooky clips, so there's a little bit of tilting um, to safely remove. All right, so then you're gonna sort of reveal. Oh, and while you're doing that, don't mess with the dial. Keep it where it was when you pulled it off, because if you turn this, uh, then the, the peg on the back won't line up with the hole. Um, then all your re then all your settings will be off. So I had two fuses. My fuses were basically right here and right here. So I have two fuses. Um, you can pull these out with uh, needle nose pliers um, or a long skinny screwdriver and just sort of pop it up on one end. And so you're gonna have to get it out. So first and foremost, uh, you have to know whether or not your fuses are good or bad. So a few, this is a, a ceramic bus fuse. There's a fine wire that connects these two ends and when the load is too high, the wire inside melts and, and, and breaks the circuit. So in order to know if these fuses are good or bad, take a, a known good multimeter and use the ohm setting in the continuity test. And uh, you hear a beep if you know it works. Oh, so I'm in the wrong setting. There. All right, that's continuity. So I take my bad fuse and no continuity. So the wire inside is burnt out. All right. So fortunately, you can buy these replacement fuses online. And just to show that this is a good fuse, continuity, so the wire inside is good. So just be mindful, then it's just a matter of plopping this fuse back in. Don't push, do not push down in the middle because that's ceramic, you can crack it. Push it down on the ends. All right, so that's that one. This one here, This fuse, also bad, also blew out on me, no continuity, just to show, it should beep. So this is bad fuse. Uh, I bought an, an, another, another fuse, I mean a set of two, just in case I bugger it up again. Then let's just test. Continuity, fuse is good. Same idea, push it in. And there we go. Simple as that. Then it's just a matter of putting these things back together again. That's it. And then of course, just replace the screws, put the battery back in and you're good to go. Thank you for watching this quick video on how to uh, replace a fuse in your multimeter uh, to make sure it keeps going. Thank you so much. Please hit like, hit subscribe, uh, share with others and hope your multimeter gives you years of good service. Bye.